The federal government says it plans to spend about 1.42 trillion naira on infrastructure and 2.11 trillion naira on human capital development in 2022. Finance Minister Zainab Ahmed disclosed this at a town hall meeting in Abuja on the achievements of the federal government in infrastructure development. With a growing population of over 200 million people, Nigeria is on the path of overcoming its infrastructural deficit. Since President Buhari's assumption of office in 2015, the administration has embarked on several projects in various sectors such as roads, railways, power, housing, aviation, agriculture, and several others. This town hall meeting, organized by the Federal Ministry of Information and Culture, is to sensitize the public on the successes achieved so far by the Buhari-led administration in terms of infrastructure and human capital development. This town hall meeting, the 21st edition, since we kick-started the program in Lagos in 2016, is one of the more than half a score town hall meetings which we have slated for the year to showcase the achievements of the administration of President Muhammadu Buhari as the administration gradually winds up. Because of the massive infrastructure development of the administration, the first two the first time in the series of 2022, to today's, will be dedicated to infrastructure. Nigeria's finance minister disclosed that satisfying the country's infrastructure needs is still work in progress as the federal government has set aside a lump sum in this regard. Nigeria's economy and population remains the largest in Africa with over 450 billion US dollars in GDP and approximately about 200 million population. Our country's huge and growing population offer both an economic challenge as well as an opportunity. In the light of constrained revenue resources, revenues and also resources brought about by several multidimensional factors, including the global pandemic and the impact and its impact on our domestic economy. Against this backdrop for challenges, this administration has successfully implemented a range of infrastructure challenge, uh, programs that have had a positive impact on the lives and the livelihoods of the citizens. Subsequently, this administration continues to prioritize spending on human in, on infrastructure as well as in, on human capital to catalyze rapid economic development. In 2022 alone, we plan to spend 1.42 trillion on infrastructure and 2.11 trillion on human capital development. The Minister of Works also let the cat out of the bag on the progress made on the second Niger Bridge with hopes that it will be completed before the end of the year. This is change. So those who ask where is the change, this is part of the change we promise. Then, of course, the second Niger Bridge. It always comes up as an election statement, and nothing happens after that. President Buhari has solved it. Work in progress, completed this year, it will be. And of course, the Abuja Kaduna Zaria Road, which was one of the last to start, really. Last built between 86 and 1991. I was on that road two weeks ago, drove the entire 375 kilometers of it. And work is going on. We still met yesterday, the, uh, the villa, the president's chief of staff, and all the contractors, trying to ensure that we can at least complete the carriageway before the end of uh, the president's tenure next year. The second phase of the town hall meetings, which will be held in March this year, will focus on aviation, transportation, water resources, and finance.